Nintendo will be announcing the Switch successor within this fiscal year, and one of the games that could release on the next console can be Super Smash Bros. 6. Hi everyone, Super Nintendo Fan 16 here. Yes, I indeed changed my username. Anyways, today I'll be sharing 15 newcomers I'd like to see for Smash 6. I know I made a video similar to that, but it didn't get that many views. Keep in mind that all the fighters that I'm sharing in this video only come from games, so there won't be any sign of characters such as Spongebob or Goku. Also, there will be three categories. One will have five fighters from Nintendo IP, one will have five fighters from third-party IP, and the other will have fighters from franchises without fighter representation. Anyways, let's get started with the fighters from Nintendo IP. First up is Waluigi, everyone wants him and so do I. Next we have Gino. We do have four Square Enix fighters in Smash, so it makes sense if we see Gino in Smash. He is a very underrated character after all. Bandana D is also one of the most wanted fighters for Smash 6. It also should happen because Masahiro Sakurai, the creator of Smash Bros. created Kirby. Next up we have <sighs> Alir. Now listen, I really hate the fact that we have too many Fire Emblem fighters in Smash. If Alir gets added, they should probably cut a few Fire Emblem characters from the roster. Also, we need the female counterpart of Alir as the primary option, just like how we have have the female counterpart of Inkling as the primary option. The final fighter from Nintendo IP I'd like to see are Noah and Mio. They could work just like Pyra and Mithra, where when you play as them, they can switch fighters during the battle. Now it is time for the fighters from third party IP. First up is Raiden from Metal Gear Solid 2. I feel like he is a very obscure pick for Smash Brothers. Now we have Tails. I don't understand why there aren't any Sonic fighters in Smash besides Sonic himself. We also don't have Shadow or Dr. Eggman. Speaking of Eggman, I think he should fight in his Egg Mobile just like how Bowser Jr. fights in his Koopa Clown car. The final fighter for the third party IP section is Miss Pac-Man. Echo Fighters were a great addition to Smash Ultimate and share the same move set as the original fighter, so I think Miss Pac-Man should be an Echo Fighter for Smash 6. Now for the fighters from franchises that don't have fighter representation. First up is Red. Yes, this may be a bit weird because Angry Birds is a mobile game, not a console game, but Red can canonically move and I really like the Angry Birds franchise so I think Red should be a fighter. Next we have Crash Bandicoot. Millions of people want to see Crash in Smash, including myself. If he was in Smash, he would probably say, Mustache man, your worst nightmare has arrived. Anyways, next up we have Rayman. Apparently, Rayman is found frozen on the battlefield stage in Smash Ultimate, and he recently had DLC in Mario plus Rabid Sparks of Hope, so he should definitely be in Smash 6. Next is Dante from the Devil May Cry series. He does have a Mii Fighter costume, just like how King K. Rool and Krom had Mii Fighter outfits in Smash 4 and they became fighters in Smash Ultimate, so they should do the same with Dante. They can also do the same with Cuphead and Sans. Anyways, I think Dante would be an excellent choice for Smash Brothers. Last but not least is Doom Slayer. He is a very obvious choice, isn't he? Now it is time for our honorable mention. For our honorable mention, we have Travis Touchdown. I know he's not on my list, but I have a feeling that people are going to ask in the comments why I didn't include him, so I decided to add him as an honorable mention. Anyways, those were 15 newcomers I'd like to see for Smash 6. If there are any new fighters you'd like to see in Smash 6, you can type down in the comments below. You can also choose the fighters that were shown in this video. This is Super Nintendo Fan 16, signing out. I'll see you guys next time.